वॉइस फोर्टीन ऑफ आवर सीरीज कॉल्ड दी कोर्ट रूम वॉइसिस फ्रॉम ट्रिपल ए इंसॉल्वेंसी टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जजमेंट फ्रॉम एन सी एल ए टी प्रिंसिपल बेंच न्यू डेली द नेम ऑफ द जजमेंट इज विंटेज पॉइंट एसेट पी टी ई लिमिटेड वर्सिज द गौरव मिश्रा गौरव मिश्रा इज द रेजोल्यूशन प्रोफेशनल इन दिस केस एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट issue in this judgment is that the resolution applicant is protected from liabilities of offences committed by the ex management of the corporate debtor prior to the cirp so that is where we actually try to say that it is a dispute where lot of assets are actually being attached by the enforcement directorate uh, cbi and like eow income tax department and even sebi so this is a judgment from ncl 80 first judgment relying on the judgment of delhi uh, bombay high court in the case of shiv charan now the date of this judgment is very recent it is 13th august 2024 this is from ncl 80 principal bench new delhi and the applicant in this case is vintage point asset pta limited the successful resolution applicant who has been voted respondent is gaurav bisra who is the resolution professional and the corporate debtor is alchemist infra reality limited the total debt in this case was about 401 crore and it was basically owed to technology parks limited which led to the initiation of cirp assets were seized by enforcement directorate the assets of the corporate debtor were under attachment by the various authorities including the directorate of enforcement the enforcement directorate the income tax department and serious fraud investigation office sfio specific assets mentioned in the resolution plan include the land parcel located somewhere in madhya pradesh and also the, uh, the basically the assets were huge Uh, it is something like 242 acres of land now in this case the cirp was initiated in october 2021 the resolution plan was submitted by vintage point asset pta limited and the approval of the resolution plan was given by the committee with 100% voting the letter of intent was issued on 20th of october 2023 the resolution professional filed an il for the approval of the resolution plan now nclt passed an order on 4th july 2024 here i would like to say that this judgment the 4th july 2024 judgment was appealed against before nclat and now you can see the result 13th august 2024 is the final judgment delivered by principal bench nclt 4th july 2024 the appeal was filed appeal was listed replies were filed and final judgment came on 13th august what else we expect from ncl 80 less than 2 months the entire issue which is pending for the last so many years about the attachment of assets by various agencies investigating authorities so this order was passed on 13th of august whereas the order which is appealed against was passed on 4th july so the nclt new delhi bench court to approve the resolution plan but refused to grant certain reliefs now let us understand what are the reliefs which actually was refused by nclt now in their in their resolution plan they the nclt did not agree to the following reliefs one release of assets attached by enforcement directorate nclt refused to grant the request for the release of assets of the corporate debtor they had been attached by the enforcement directorate under prevention of money laundering act pmla nclt held that it did not have the jurisdiction to order the release of such assets as these were under the purview of the pmla and the relevant adjudicating authority under the law vacating the nclt also did not grant relief regarding the release of assets that were under attachment by other authorities such as the income tax department and sfio 
the court maintained that such reliefs could not be granted as they pertain to issue beyond its jurisdiction. General immunity from past liabilities while the NCLT was considering the general immunity from past liability, the resolution plan sought this kind of immunity from the liabilities arising from the offences committed by the previous management. NCLT did not provide the blanket approval for such immunity, especially in relation to asset attached under PMLA. The court emphasized that section 32A of the IBC provides limited immunity, specifically post approval of the resolution plan and subject to certain conditions. So, these refuse, refusals were based on interpretation that NCLT cannot override the provisions of PMLA or actions taken by other statutory authorities under different law. That particular judgment was appealed against, uh, appealed before NCLAT. Now, the applicant argued before NCLAT that the intent of section 32 capital A of the IBC is to grant protection to the resolution applicants from any liability of the corporate debtor from offences committed prior to the commencement of CIRP. The applicant further submitted that the attachment of the corporate debtor's assets by ED under PMLA should be vacated as per section 32 capital A of the IBC to allow monetization of the assets and successful implementation of the resolution plan. Now, the respondents, they were saying that the resolution professional was only a respondent in this case and therefore, the respondent also supported the arguments of the SRA. Now, the primary legal issue before NCLAT was that the benefit of section 32 capital A of the IBC should extend to vacating the attachment made by ED under PMLA and whether the new management is protected from the liability of the offences committed by the ex-management of the corporate debtor. Now, the section 32A was inserted, it was inserted to protect. Now, the a resolution plan is a kind of binding on all the stakeholders. The NCLAT relied on the Bombay High Court judgment uh, of Shiv Karan and others versus adjudicating authority under PMLA and also relied on Delhi High Court judgment that is Rajiv Chakrabarti versus Director of Enforcement. Now, these judgments like the Bombay High Court judgment Shiv Karan, Shiv Charan, it said very clearly that the adjudicating authority under IBC has the jurisdiction to vacate the attachment of PMLA, attachment of ED under PMLA. However, the conflicting judgment of Delhi High Court, which is in the case of Rajiv Chakrabarti, that was basically that the uh, power to attach under PMLA does not fall under the preview of section 14 subsection 1 clause A that is moratorium of the IBC and attachment under PMLA can continue until the resolution plan is approved that is what was held by Delhi High Court and NCLT allowed the appeal. Setting aside the findings in paragraph 60 of NCLT's judgment and extending the protection of section 32 capital A of IBC to the applicant. Now, this decision allowed the release of properties attached by the ED under the PMLA. Now, paragraph 60 of the impugned order which says, in sum and substance, the successful resolution applicant or the corporate debtor would be entitled to no other relief, concessions, waivers except those which are available to it as per the provisions of section 31, subsection 1 and 32 capital A of the IBC. Nevertheless, the properties which are already attached by ED under PMLA would not be released and it would be for the successful resolution applicant to resort to the appropriate proceedings to seek remedy in this regard. In any case, the changed management covered under section 32 capital A would not be entitled for any criminal consequences for the offences committed by the ex-management of the CD prior to commencement of the CIRP. Now, before NCLAT, the following key reliefs were, this was, this was basically the following key reliefs were allowed. Now, the NCLAT has finally said 
that the uh, the reliefs sought by the applicant to vacate that was allowed now and also we are also trying to say that the enclad clearly said one that the application of rajiv chakrabarti judgment of delhi high court was incorrect the nclt has uh, ignored the judgment of shiv charan which is from bombay high court therefore the nclt has powers to vacate the attachment under pmla attached by ed and also attachment by other statutory authorities like sfio or even income tax department now this judgment from ncl 80 is very very important we are not sure whether the enforcement directorate or income tax department or sfio will finally file an appeal before supreme court but presently we have a judgment of shiv charan from bombay high court which clearly says that 32a of ibc is applicable to successful resolution applicants now we have this judgment from ncl 80 which says that the adjudicating authority has the powers has the powers to vacate the attachment from enforcement directorate so this is very important judgment there are many cases which actually can be resolved with this judgment combined with the bombay high court judgment so this judgment would be applied in many cases and many cases can be resolved this is i can only say convey thanks to such a clear and very fast judgment from ncl 80 so in case of any questions in case of any inquiry please contact us we are triple a insolvency we are providing all kind of consultancy on insolvency and bankruptcy law our contact details are mentioned in the description thank you